the neurologists work them up in the epilepsy monitoring unit, and then we try to narrow down where the seizures are coming from. Once we have a fairly good idea where they're coming from, then we can take them to the operating room, and, um, and if the MRI shows a structural lesion, we can remove it. Or if there's some, still some doubt, then we can implant grids and electrodes and narrow the focus down even further and then do the surgery. As far as the temporal lobectomy is concerned, you know, the majority of uh, structural uh, problems in the brain that cause seizures originate in the te temporal lobe. It's usually on the medial part of the temporal lobe due to scarring uh, that causes chronic uh, and persistent seizures. In the temporal lobectomy, essentially what we're doing is removing part of the temporal lobe that's responsible for the seizures. Uh, the right side of the brain versus the left side of the brain, there are some differences because in the majority of people, language is uh, on the left side. So prior to doing the surgery, we actually have to do other testing to determine what side of the brain uh, language function is located in, and also how much memory is on the right side versus left side. And we take all that into consideration. Uh, when we uh, do the surgery. The best candidates for a, you know, a surgery are the ones that actually have a, a lesion that's you know, found on MRI. Usually, uh, if, when lesions cause seizures, removing them obviously cures the patient of any of the uh, seizures later on. Uh, so those are the best candidates, uh, are the ones where the MRI actually shows an, a structural abnormality.